Welcome to the Science Chef Academy. I am GapTech. Based on popular demand, we promise to start making videos on computer ICT tutorials. So today, we are starting a series on computer hardware and software. And in this video, we'll be learning about the meaning of computer hardware and its constituents with examples. If you want to get the best out of this series, ensure you watch each video to the end. Hardware is a general term for the physical components that make up a computer system. For example, the keyboard, mouse, camera, all are examples of input devices, monitor, printer, plotter, all are examples of output devices. For a desktop computer, the hardware can also be explained as consisting of the system units which is the part that houses all the essential components of the computer and peripherals which are the components that are attached to the system units. Hardware falls into two categories namely internal the internal hardware devices include the motherboard random access memory read only memory video card sound card internal storage devices such as hard disk drive and solid state drive and the external hardware devices such as the input devices examples mouse the keyboard and the output devices under external hardware such as the monitor printer external hardware such as storage devices such as dvd writable drive removable hard disk drive. Further details on each of the external hardware devices will be discussed later on in this series. We shall be focusing on the internal hardware devices as of now. The key components of internal hardware are CPU, internal hard drive, RAM, and ROM. The CPU interprets and executes the command from the hardware and software. It is mounted on the motherboard. Modern CPUs found in pieces and household equipment are referred to as microprocessors. The CPU is made of its control units, arithmetic logic units, and random access memory, which is also known as the immediate access store. The internal storage devices are the main storage of the computer. It can either be hard disk drive or solid state drive. It stores the operating systems and files and application software. Internal storage devices have fast data transfer and access time and they have a large storage capacity. Random access memory holds data and instructions that are currently in use. RAM stores data temporarily. This memory can be written to and read from. The contents of RAM are lost when power is turned off. This is why it is known as a volatile memory. In a modern PC, at any instance of the computer running, the RAM is used to hold the operating system, application programs currently in use, and data of file being worked on. ROM is used to store information that needs to be permanent. The content cannot be altered, it can only be read from. ROM contains a boot file usually referred to as the BIOS, which is basic input and output system. The BIOS stores the date, time and system configuration in a non-volatile chip called a CMOS in full form complementary meta oxide semiconductor. CMOS is usually battery powered. We will learn about computer software in the next video of this series endeavor to keep a date if you are able to learn anything from this video kindly drop a comment give us a like share this video and subscribe to our channel to encourage us to do more videos like this in the words of john roskin quality is never an accident it is always the result of intelligent effort so i encourage you to stay on course